Thanks for joining me today. Today this video is going to be about my everyday brows, my eyebrows. This is what I do every day. And um, I've gotten used to doing it so I can get through it very quickly between uh, three and five minutes. So I'm going to start with the MAC pencil. This is stud. And I'm going to start by marking off the areas where I like to start and stop. So what I'm going to do here is start at my waterline, make a mark, put it at the outer part of the eye, make a mark, and then put it at the end of the eye and make a mark. And so that's going to guide me. And I begin to fill in. And once I get to that middle mark, I start to make my tail, start to come down, rounding it off and coming down. Now all those little marks that you see, I'm going to remove those either with my finger or with um, some concealer. And here I am again, just filling it in. And when I come to that middle marker, I start to round it off and come to the, come down the tail. What you're going to find when you're creating your own brow is that you're going to go back over and over with your pencil until you get your shape that looks best for your face. So you have to kind of keep looking in the mirror at both your brows and at your face. Make sure it just looks good for you. Don't try to create your brows to look like someone else's. It, it, it won't work. You, you have to make your brows specifically for your face only. And that's what I do. I keep working at it and filling in. Now I'm using a concealer that's a MAC NW40 and I'm using a angled brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer under the brow just to help give it a little shape and also makes the eyebrow look more defined and more sculpted. And so I'm going to do the other brow and then I'm going to go back and just blend it out and just use that brush to blend it out and also you can use your finger also once you get the product blend it down towards the middle of your your face there you can just blend it out and again on this side just pull the product downward that concealer is creamy and it'll move very easily and again just use your finger to finish blending now the one thing that I really don't like is using a concealer that's really much lighter than my complexion. I mean that just, for me it doesn't work. I don't like the way it looks. So I try to use something that's a shade to a shade and a half lighter than my complexion. And again you can see me kind of sculpting the brow with that brush. I'm not going to add any more product to that brush. What I'm going to do is you're going to see later I'm going to go back with the brush and just keep shaping the brow. Now right now I have a spoolie and I'm going to blend out the corners because I don't want my corners in the front to look too boxy so I'm going to blend it out. And uh, if you have thick brows you can also just use that to groom your brows and blend them. I'm using that angle brush again, no product is on it, but I'm going back and it's just helping me give my brow a little bit more of a defined shape. See what I'm saying? I'm going back in with that pencil because I think it needs to be a little darker and a little higher. The brows are a work in progress, so you gotta keep working on it till it looks great for you. And keep practicing because you'll get better and you'll be able to make a beautiful signature brow within a few minutes every day. Here I'm going to set those, my brows with the HD powder, that's from Ruby Kisses. That's a great powder, it's ultra fine and it will help set the concealer and it will set the pencil also. And that's what I use to set my brows. And that's basically it. I may go back in and then fine tune it, but um, that's basically it. So you guys got the idea. I'm going to come back and finish this look for you. I'm going to do a beautiful colored eyeshadow look for you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye.